right now we're in, uh, at the IO Maximum Security Institution in B Block, and we're on Tier 1 in cell 25. And this cell is a long-term restrictive housing cell where we house administratively segregated inmates. So, can you walk me through, how is this cell different than what a general population inmate is? Uh, in a general population cell, there would be two bunks, mm -hmm. and that's the difference as far as the structural uh, makeup of the cell. It's, it's the same as this. Is it the same size? Yes. What is the dimensions in here? Uh, 10 by 12, I believe. Okay. Uh, the, the bunks, uh, when there's two cells, uh, one is of a higher elevation or there are two beds? They're one on top of each other. Okay. The reason I ask, of course, is that um, the suicidal watch, I would assume it's easier to hang yourself from a higher elevation. Yeah. Really. We've actually had inmates strangle themselves by tying it on and then laying down underneath the bunk. So they're be facing the floor and have the ligature point, you know, on the bottom of the bunk. Okay. Uh, we've had that happen before during my time. Okay. Um, how common is it, unfortunately, for an inmate to commit suicide? You know, um, once is too much as far as I'm concerned, really. I mean, that's the hardest thing I've ever had to do as a warden is to call somebody's loved one and tell them that, that their loved one had taken their own life, you know. Um, once is too many as far as I'm concerned. Um, we haven't had one here, knock on wood, in about two and a half years, so okay. um, I'm very glad about that. Okay. We've had attempts, but we haven't had a successful one in about two and a half years. Okay. Well, for me, ADSEG turned into uh, an opportunity. And so uh, I know there's a lot of negative you know, ideas about solitary confinement, administrative segregation. Uh, and I think, you know, personally, uh, just through experience personally for myself, uh, uh, it, was, it was a great experience. It was an experience to get away from, you know, the pressure, uh, the expectation of uh, this side of society. Um, now, uh, I had an opportunity really to, you know, to change, you know, to, to, you know, change the way that I thought about life, change the way that I thought about who I am, uh, change the way that I thought about, you know, the next, at that point, 10 years left of my time. And, and you know, and that said, gave me a lot of opportunity to really, you know, discover some things about myself, uh, you know, uh, but I also know that that said too, um, you know, when you go to ADSEG, it's different because your usual punishment, uh, there's an end in sight. You know, when you come to prison, you have a fixed sentence. And that fixed sentence is is done at a certain point. And so there's light at the end of the tunnel. You know, administrative segregation, they don't give you a fixed time. They don't give you a certain amount of time. You know, you, you made you made some bad decisions. And so your time starts with uh, without light at the end of the tunnel necessarily. Now, you may do a year, you may do five years. Uh, Doherty did this last time six years, and uh, I know people have been back there for ten years uh, or more. And so uh, I think psychologically uh, that, could, that could happen.